honorable members, why don't you sit? We have a I have never seen a report on a bill presented and the minority report is presented. And the chair of the main report proceeds to debate the minority report. No, he's not debating. I am oh, even answering. I, I have <coughs> asked him specifics. I have asked him specifics. He's not debating. Yeah, but Madam Speaker, the reason I said this is strange is that traditionally the presiding officer will invite the House to consider both. But the one of minority comes back now to deal with the minority. Yet both of them sat there and wrote their reports. Now you will be inviting minority to come and deal with what is answering. So that's why I said, uh, Madam Speaker, that this uh, procedure we have taken is strange. I and am I, I, am, I am calling you for your I guidance. Am the eyes move this side. All the eyes move this side. And let's have it come. Let's have the number. Let the uh, is all that the eyes. All the eyes. I was an adult when we established these agencies. And the reason given by the government was that we were establishing strategic agencies to propel the development of this country. After painful listening to my brother, the Honorable Ruamirama, who I will not refer to as bright today, I heard him say that the mischief was about the fat salaries. If it were about the fat salaries and humongous budget, then before we rationalize UCD and these agencies, we should start with those that created these humongous expenditures. Indeed, if we are to rationalize on a rational basis, on a rational basis, we should start with rationalizing the Ministry of Agriculture. We gave them district farm institutes. Where are they? We gave them farms in Buyikwe. Where is the farm in Buyikwe? We gave them extension farmers. Where are they? So if we are to deal with redundant expenditure, we, should, we gave them ranches. Where are they? We should start with the rationalization of this ministry itself and not entrust this ministry with functions of an entity that has been the brightest star in the country. Right, Honorable Speaker, we were informed by the majority report yesterday, and I want to thank my sister, the chairperson, that coffee has been accounting for 55% of the agricultural exports. Why don't we want to spend on entities and areas which give us money? The reason we maintain agencies like URA, Uganda Investment Authority, is because they are strategic. Do you want to tell me that a blameless entity called UCDA which has promoted coffee after the destruction and death of coffee marketing board should be sacrificed because some people are not doing their work? Can we talk about expenditure in a government, in a parliament, for strategic reasons that gives money to a private company, and then we say we cannot give money to an agency? We were informed yesterday right honorable speaker that this this authority is going to be absorbed in the ministry and i want to ask at what level as a directorate as a department as a unit since when if we are to do this why don't we get things like kcca investment authority ura and put them back to the mother ministries because we want to rationalize Right, Honorable Speaker and colleagues, there are people who are deeply concerned in this country. Why haven't we consulted the farmers, the coffee farmers, the cotton farmers, and all the other core stakeholders? I want to conclude by saying, right, Honorable Speaker and Honorable Members, the destruction of a country 
begins with the destruction of ideology. If we have performing entities and we want to kill them, one will ask, what did Ugandans do to us to deserve the punishment of destroying the small veins that continue to feed them? Maybe you could tell us how much UCDA is consuming from, the, from your treasury. We would mobilize cooperatives and associations, coffee associations in this country, to foot that bill, since you do not want to finance them. Thank you. I oppose the Thank move you. to rationalize the coffee. Number one. It Honorable is... members, listen to Aisha. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Right Honorable Speaker, I wish to respond to issues before I got the gist of my submission. Number one, it is not the fault of UCDA that Northern Region has not been major growing coffee. You should know it was the government program to zone Uganda allocating different products for different regions. And the Uganda government allocated Northern Region for cotton. Therefore, it was not UCDA, and we must not blame UCDA for that. Number two, right, Honorable Speaker, I have heard people saying government established UCDA, and therefore government should have the privilege of taking UCDA. Madam Speaker, let me mention this. Clarification, Madam Speaker. Can you be patient? Could you have a pen and paper and write? Would you have a pen and paper and write? I want to inform first Honorable Bright Ramirama that I was an NRM Kada that explained these policies on radio, therefore I know them very well. What you did, I was explaining. And you designated the products for particular regions. If the administrator desired that UCDA extends coffee, UCDA should have done as such. It was the minister that desired that North should not grow coffee. At the time when you didn't that coffee goes across, they have started extending coffee all over. Having Thank said you. that, no, Honorable Speaker, I was interrupted. I was saying that it is not the privilege of government executive to take away everything they establish as they desire. Right. When, you prom when you create entities, they are not for you. They are for the nationals. If the people have said, yes, you created it and we want it, it is not upon you to take it the way you desire because we now want it. Second, the right honorable speaker, I ably listened to the chairperson of the committee yesterday answering all the defects in the law. The defects in the law were saying that some entities were wasteful. Some entities were, were, being, were destroying the harmony. And the question was, some entities were being deprecative. Her answers were all in negative. She asked, is UCDA being deprecative? She said, no. Is UCDA destroying the harmony? She said, no. Is UCDA being wasteful? She said, no. She, she credited UCDA for being very good. And finally, and that's when I wondered what happened to the well-able chairperson, what happened to her. her. I knew and forgave her. She feared, the, she feared the, the iron arm of the powers that are in this country. And we are here as parliament to speak, to conclude the way she desired. She made the right submission, but feared to make the right conclusion. The right conclusion is to say that UCDA must stay. It performed excellently. It is not wasteful. It is not duplicative. It must stay for the good of the people. I submit, right, Honorable Speaker. Thank you. Honorable members, why don't you sit? We have ascertained the number. We've ascertained the number. Why don't you sit? Honorable members, since, I, since we have everybody here, we are going to close the doors. So you sit. You sit.
affected regions of this nation. Ministry, the people in the northern part of Uganda, especially in West Nile, have just woken up to coffee when it was, when, excuse me, Sef, Madam Speaker, can I have my privilege as a member of parliament? Madam uh, Speaker. Uh, uh, honorable members. Honorable members. Madam Speaker, through the PDM, government has outlined the seven enterprises that are lucrative and coffee is at the top of those enterprises. But for 30 years, what has UCDA done in West Nile and Northern Uganda? Number one. Number two. Right Honorable Speaker, I beg, I beg for my privilege as a member of parliament to speak. I beg for, the, for my privilege as a member of parliament to speak in this house. Honorable members, can you kindly keep quiet? Right Honorable Speaker, when Ministry of Agriculture... Just, just a minute, just a minute. The speaker was a into. Speaker, you had to wano mpala menti, inamba satu mugwanga, nene chila gilo cha speaker chaba sa zewo, chiba chisobula okuchale njingibwa, okuwa kanyizibwa, itumu gano di speaker chino chosa zewo, chichamu. Ida chetubadetu mulaga muruzi. Ida chilu unji intikakati, butu mulaga ruzi, hapa ino zigo vedida, chibu osara we chintu, nyo mkupate yes, go speaker, nevi na labi, nevi na, na ye ruzi gamba, nti, ba member, chisobula okuwa kanya, nitu imuka, about Tamakumiana, Erechet Cosen or Warero, Katia Genanaga, Manticati, Mesa will be Naji, need that to eat a rules, the Okuyi Midida. The two call of Cosi Fujo, the two beta Muzanyo, two but to go better rules, rules Ziga Manti about Tamakumia, Nano Quayo, and get our guru by Midida, Basso Loku can speak at Jasazeo. Kati to the local road, the speaker and I take away Chibuzo. Those in favor, I to the contrary, nay. Kati Zino, never Zibang, and pity you. Or Lucy speaker Gamanti, the the eyes have it. Kakati, two is some rules in the Tugama and Nedda. Fetu would deny a lobo ziga no game, man, genio. Iranga rules it to kill that to immediate to the Moko Londo Mukomu. Kakati, Aboba announces the Balangi dent Kakati, Bano, Baba do Ebati, Bano, Bebati, Twagalok to Nurida, Lis says, Ot Tegede, Bani, Abalonze, Batia. What would the Mulimuva ex official about a kid is Iwa, Londa? Do not to gain the big of Edda. Nanga Chenki is a new Chetuliko. In the song, I na kubana ya tikakati aba NRM aba opposition. Tupa delinga tu sa ininga. Gawu wa wabanji tuli opposition. Ni na aba NRM baba dena febanji. Gaba gamba bantu aba ba sindika wa numu parliament. Baga gamba muluane kumuani ya fe. Soto cha aleme deko. Gatu gamba vana imuani lochi te baji vako. Bino baba gamba nti emiake satu emiake tano tikakati obanga gamba nti kare. Aba limbe muani tupa wa demiake satu owe tano bujina gua. Tujitua alifenga kama menti baji, baji tuchengkana. Waba jikuwa ase pineti. Ngewe bali baga lokola. Tuga amba government muliza abantu. Abantu baga ambe muanyi mujideke. UDC, UCDA. Tetu kiri denyo chidi yao. Netu waga lete dede. Kufango orede. Eva de tambula. Ngekuwa saka nye uvuna njizwa wayo. Na committee report. Majority committee report. Kwa ya gambie. Ngegamba tewa libu zibu. Na yate mkuku wendu. Nga baga amba nti hate. Turationalize inge. Chicho obote geza. Awe tucha ale mede. Iranga tusaba na Uganda yujimuli. Haba lime muanyi. Haba nywa kawa. Haba somede kumuanyi. Na mwe mwimisama lobo ziga mwe. Kumanga fe. Wano ye suja kube meza mu parliament. Nede chimarabu tuba angatuli feka. Mungu kida mutoji kwa atako. Haba kabali wano. Nebako labu licheba aso volo kola. Na ye population iba na Uganda. Tevega takubabaka. Kakati ya wewali obuzibu. Tuka antipa na Uganda yujimuli. Haba kaba mumakubida masimu. Baga anti kakati kwe tuwalabi ye. Olondo gama ntika kati mwanyi tujikuwa government echo chitu wakutu mkula mtuwe gati kukusonge eno e mwanyi.